So this is the first time that I ever went with Molly and just wanted to have a look at her running form. Um, I went ahead and did the video all in slow motion to start with and then played it all um, at regular speed at the end. So right here really what I was looking at was um, her upper body movement and the arm motion. Uh, see a little bit more side to side motion and up and down action than I would really like to see. Uh, I did notice though when Molly was running faster that there was um, she was much more efficient and there was a little bit less up and down momentum and more forward momentum. Here's just um, a head on shot. Again, you can see the arms kind of going from side to side. I, I don't really feel like um, her arms are benefiting her as much as they possibly could. Um, just something upper body strength uh, will take care of, definitely. Here you can, what I'm, what I'm really looking at is here you can see she's over a little bit and the hips are behind where she's landing sometimes. Um, it wasn't consistent during that lap, but it's definitely something that I can see when she might be fatigued might uh, become an issue. So that's something to work on just in training. And that's basically landing on the heel, which is almost putting on the brakes. She is not always doing that, especially not when she's running faster. I just don't know how long um, she's able to sustain that pace. So upper body, hips, um, and landing kind of are, are some things that I think uh, would be good to work on to start with. Um, here you can see really good turnover. That was one thing we were looking at. Um, her cadence was anywhere between 90 and 100, which is very, very good. So um, I'll just let this video play out just so we can have it as a point of reference as uh, she moves through her training over the summer.